Road trip time. Are you excited to stay in a yurt? <laughs> I'm still not sure what a yurt is. <laughs> this will be fun. We are on our way out to Joshua Tree because we want to watch the Perseids meteor shower, which is in its peak time right now. I guess technically last night and this morning it was at like the very, very peak where there were like 200 meteors per hour, but you can still see them all week. Um, so we're driving out to the desert, we're staying in a yurt, and we're going to do a lot of stargazing tonight. We're going to stay up super late, like maybe even 11 p.m. <laughs> I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> we're party animals, we're staying up at least until 11 p.m. We're going to look for, for some meteors, maybe some fireballs. Um, I don't know. I don't think I've ever seen a meteor shower. Michael, have you seen a meteor shower? No. Michael's the, like the super space nerd too. It's a true story. Like I'm just going along with this because I think it's super cool. The idea of staying in a yurt in Joshua Tree and, and stargazing. So, um, but Michael like loves anything space. All Like he, he will just nerd out. He watches all the space shows. Um, and he was, he's been talking what, for a week or two about this meteor shower. I got up this morning at like 4 a.m. just because I couldn't sleep. And I went outside and I looked I looked up in the sky for a while, but um, there's too much, there's too much, what do you call it? Uh, light, light pollution. Noise. Light pollution. Light yeah. no noise or light no, pollution? Pollution. There's too much light pollution um, because we're right outside of LA. Um, so we gotta get away from the lights. Gotta get, get, out, get away from the lights and be at one with nature. Polly, our fearless poodle, is joining us. Of course, she just got groomed. Like, <laughs> she just got groomed yesterday. And now we're taking her out into the dusty desert. So, oh well. I'm not sure if, if camping or glamping and poodles mix, but we're about to find out. I'm reading uh, the instructions for the yurt. There's a lot of information <laughs> about how to find it and where to park. Um, but I hear there's, there is a bed and there is running water and um, there's a toilet. But what I didn't know, I read the instructions a little more closely now that we're on our way and it says um, that there's a composting toilet. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Maybe I have the wrong idea of what composting means. Like I thought com a compost is where you throw your old vegetables. Does that mean it? Well, we're about to find out. I don't know what composting means. Can we go to the bathroom before we get there? <laughs> For sure. It's gonna be fun.
sweet lighting. I love it. I think it's adorable. This this is way more modern than I was expecting. There's like a sink right here. And um, looks like we have dishes there. Look, we have a skylight. Come on. Do you smell all the bugs? Yeah, we have our little skylight. Okay, we made it to the yurt. It's so cute. Um, I love it. Now I, I have to pee. Um, we didn't get the chance to go before we arrived, so I have to use the com the compost the compost toilet composting toilet. My friends told me that that's that's code for no flesh. Here's the shower and latrine section of the yurt separate from the living quarters which is good so here's the shower the doors colliding here there's the shower um oh look there's soap and our our yurt hostess so that the actual the water is actually pretty warm probably because it's been 120 all day okay and then here's the Here's the yurt latrine, the composting toilet. We have a sink, barbecue. We have our little outdoor dining area with some camp chairs. And then the cooler, Michael's time lapse, and uh, the fire pit. And we've got. Um, we should have some firewood over there. Yep. The host said she would put out some firewood for us. So there's five yurts total on this property. Um, so we see some some other people over there. The other yurts seem pretty quiet. Um, yeah, it's beautiful. It's beautiful out here. Look how cute the yurt is. Look, it's adorable. Michael, what do you think? <laughs> it's better than I was expecting. <gasps> Yay! The latrine was NBD. Totally, like, not a big deal. Like, it's been cleaned since the last people were here, so... As long as uh, Michael and I don't have any 10 twos to take while we're here. I think we're safe. <laughs> and it's very nice. I mean, there's toilet paper in there. Like, it's very accommodating. I, I dig it. Can you see me? <laughs> this, this is a little bit, um, ooh fire's popping. Uh, this is a little bit Shades of Blair Witch project, but um, this, it's really dark out here. But that's good because we need it dark so we can see the meteor shower. Michael's already seen like four meteors. I have seen two airplanes. I got really excited. And then I'm like, wow, that meteor's going really slow and it has a blinking red light. Hmm just an airplane. Okay, so I need to, I think, ditch this torch and um, just sit and let my eyes adjust. Um, it's really, really hot out here. I somehow thought the desert was going to be cold at night, but um, no, it's hot and windy. I, I feel like we're living in a hairdryer. It's 445. I haven't slept yet. <laughs> The coffee that I had at 4 p.m. kept me awake till 2.30. Then right as I was drifting off, the dog woke up because it was super windy and it was, something was banging against the yurt, like some sort of tarp. So the dog freaked out and had to go outside and pee and things. Look around, she's just triggered by everything out here. Anyways. So then, basically, I've been up with the dog. Oh, the reason why we're, I'm vlogging 
is because I'm like, okay, well, if I'm going to be awake, at least I can go watch meteor showers. Like, that's a great way to spend time if you can't sleep. It's been cloudy since 2.30 when I brought Princess out here to go pee. Michael's been sleeping soundly since like midnight, 12.04 or whenever that... Like we should have stayed up. If I had known, I would have been like, let's stay up. There's a really loud cricket over there. Um, so yeah, I feel like the meteor shower is over, or at least our viewing of it is over, because it's too cloudy to see any stars. I can see the moon a little bit. Can you see the moon? Holly's now sleeping, but now Andrea's not sleeping. Look at that. What do you mean now I'm not sleeping? I, I've never slept. Ever. In my life. Why does my head look so small? I look like, I look like a little, like, <laughs> like a little puppy. <laughs> We're definitely losing it. It's like I'm your conscience. <laughs> Michael, do the right thing. <laughs> I don't know if my head is abnormally small or if your shoulder is abnormally big. <laughs> we lost it. We've officially lost it. <laughs> Somebody is delirious. <laughs> when can we get breakfast? <laughs> maybe, maybe my head actually shrank from lack of sleep. Is that possible? <laughs> It's 6.19, I still haven't slept. Michael never went back to bed after he woke up at 4.30. Sorry. But you know what? You would have missed this amazing sunrise had you gone back to bed. Mo more importantly, I have found the Holy Grail. Look, I know, this one, <laughs> this one, <laughs> has kept me up since 2.30. Well, I never went to bed, but she's been up since 2.30. She's done with the desert. But look at I found, I found my eye drops. <laughs> like I would cut off a limb for it's these right really now. It's really bad out here. Like my eyes feel like there's matches. <laughs> Ignite matches in my eyes and that that's probably how my eyes would feel right now. Cause they're so dry. 
what are we doing okay we're having coffee and donuts and then i think we're just gonna leave <laughs> Well, it's going to be 105 today. I don't really want to be... <laughs> it's going to be 105 in like an hour. And the dog is done. And we're, we're... We've had our fill of the desert. We came here to see stars. We saw stars. We saw stars. Stars are gone. And so it's time for us to be gone. For sure. But it's been a good trip. It's been a great trip.